Hi there, I'm Michael, T1 Caravanning and today I'm going to show you around our Sterling Europa 565 6 berth caravan and we'll start from the, we'll start going around the outside so here we go this is a 2011 Sterling Europa we purchased it second hand we're from the Glasgow area and we drove down to Manchester someone was selling it and we've got everything with it everything we could possibly want aqua rolls wastewater extra hoses uh, we've got an awning we've got two awnings with it so let's have a look you get a nice storage at the front keep your gas bottles in there levelers all my pegs cleaning products in there nice big caravan great for families we've got a wee awning skirt on this just now um, here a camper awning skirt and a camper wee latch cover held on by limpets Go round to the back. And we've got a Yama Caravan store awning on this at the moment. Right, let's go inside. We're actually living in this now. We're away for the weekend, so... We have got bits and bobs lying about. It's not like a showroom. So, here we are. Oh, you get wee blinds on the window of the door and a bin. So when you go in, there's a little peg for hanging your jackets on. We've got a dog, so it's ideal if I keep my dog walking jacket there so I can just put it on and take him out. Go straight in, we'll go straight into the toilet. Nice wee cupboard down the bottom. All our bits and bobs in there. We've got another little rail up the top here. I sometimes keep my wash bag in there, but I've got it in one of the cupboards at the moment. And again, you get a bug net and you also get a screen for privacy. And this little light here tells you when the cassette is full and that's the flush this is the little shower cubicle little shower cubicle here we've got a mat in the bottom there because we store our aqua roll and wastewater when we're travelling we don't often use the shower something they thought we would do we thought we'd use it a lot but we, we don't actually we use the facilities where we go um, I guess if you're going somewhere that hasn't got shower blocks then you would need to use the facilities in your caravan. What we do use it for, sometimes the boys if they're coming in, um, it's a bit late at night, shower blocks a little bit far away and you think look we just want to give them a quick wash down, um, that's ideal. Shower comes off and you can shower yourself or your kids down, make sure they get a nice sleep. Um, we towel rail there and this closes over obviously when you're showering and now we'll go into the kitchen area so you get a full um, full cooker, a grill and an oven and there's a little cupboard down the bottom we store some tins in there and we just keep them in there just the, the basics for getting away and you've got another wee cupboard next to the oven. Stole all our wipes, washing up kit in there. A cutlery drawer in there. Quite a nice big sink. Our cups are in there at the moment. I'm just cleaning that out with a Pure Clean cleaner. And what we what we really like is let me just move this football. 
you get three gas and one electricity. So the electricity is good if you've not got any gas, and the gas is good if you've not got any electricity. Sometimes you see these and they've only it's only gas. Um, so it's nice to have that, that one electric there that you can use if you're not using any gas. And up above the cooker, you've got a microwave. Use that a lot. Really handy for heating up breakfast, cereal, or little snacks in the afternoon for our boys. And a nice range of cupboards all along the top. These are ideal for storing um, all your cooking utensils. Teas and coffees in there. Um, bigger utensils that we keep in there. Up the front, um, this is for mine and my wife. We store our jammies and things like that in there. Things that you just want to get to without going through to the back where the boys sleep and disturbing them. Um, that whole box is a first aid kit. We've got another first aid kit near the back. And um, we've got a radio with it when we've got it. And we keep a whole load of DVDs in there for the boys on rainy days. We try to swap them round a bit. Um, it's good if you're on site, if someone else, if you're next to someone with some kids and you can swap DVDs. Some nice lights. Now this is 2011 model, so sometimes you see on lights now and they've got the wee USB sockets, none on this. But we don't feel as if we've missed out, but clearly if someone's going to give us some USB light sockets, we would take them off if they came with the caravan, that's a good thing to have. The plug point is down the bottom. I know a lot of newer ones have got plug points behind uh, where the television is. So again, you get fly screens. Fly screens on the mall. There's T-Dog out there. Hi, T-Dog. <laughs> Hello. He's a good boy. And you also get the blackout screen as well. And same with the roof. You get the bug net. But if you pull it right across, you get the blackout screen as well. Again, ideal in the summertime, you're not getting woke up at four in the morning. It's nice and dark. So there you go. And we, we sleep on these. Um, you can pull this out and that will make a double bed. You, know, you pull that right out and it comes along on slats. You can do that if you want, um, or I think one side is slightly bigger than the other. Yeah, the left hand side here is slightly bigger, so if you're taller, that's not a problem for me and my wife. We're not exactly tall, yeah. and we use a duvet. I'll maybe do a wee review of the duvet. We use the duvet sleeping bag system um, with the new type of cool mattress that it comes with. And we have a pillow as well. We were just saying last night, unbelievable the great sleep that we get on them. We did used to just sleep straight on here. We used to put a, a sheet there and sleep on with a normal duvet. It's fine, but you know, there comes a point, maybe if you're staying for a week, you think actually you could do with something a little bit more comfy. So as a wee treat, we got the duvets. There's also handy storage under here. We keep everything for our awning under one side. And on the other side, there's not much space that side because that's where your electrics are. But there is a bit of space in there. That's a motor mover electronics there. And your power supply unit in that side. And then there's another wee cupboard down here. Again, we keep wee bits and bobs in there. Oh yeah, the boys' um, fishing stuff's in there and a few spare batteries and things. You'll get to know the best places where you like to store things. Obviously, these seats come up as well. You, know, you don't have to go in from the bottom. And it's, it's the same for the bottom bunk here. We keep all our seats and chairs and things like that, picnicking stuff under there. over here just if you've got kids we use you know if you've got juice cups ones with lids because 
in caravans, it's quite a small space. If your kids aren't used to caravans, they'll love it, but if they're not used to it, you can spill a lot of juice. So pretty much everything we've got, we try and keep a lid on it because if it knocks over, it spills over your nice caravan. A nice set of drawers here. I'll keep all bits and bobs in there. Um, we've got some walkie-talkies, clothes, pegs, some games and some stationery in there. Oh, this this also folds out um, into a, a table, so it makes it a little bit bigger. But if you wanted a bigger table, there's a cupboard, cupboard just above the the heater there. This is our cupboard. Again, some condiments in there, but you've got a bigger table. And we in the morning we pull that out, or in the evening we pull that out and we put it down here, and we can sit round the table and eat. But nice hanging space here. The ladders to get up into the bed are stored here. The second set of beds, um, I'll show you those in a wee minute. There's your heater and your heater dial round there. We, we've come away in the winter and we find this absolutely fine. We've got a small little um, oil radiator that we use as well. We sometimes keep that in the awning. And we only really use that if, um, clearly, if you've got an electric hookup. There's another couple of wee hanging bits up here. Wife's friend gave us that. I thought it was ideal to keep in the caravan. A mirror. Somewhere to store your jackets. Right, let's have a look at the back. So let's go through to the back. This is one of the big reasons why we purchased this caravan. You've got your central washroom and toilet. Now, that's great because we sleep up here and our two boys sleep down this end. You also get a blind that you can pull across and it clips and it means you've got separation from the children or you know, whoever's staying and you've got a bit of privacy through there as well. Also, kids can go to bed and the adults can stay up um, without, without too much fuss. We usually leave that just half open um, once the boys have gone to sleep because they're always, you can just see where the beds are there. They sometimes stick their head out and have a watch the television through. So we've got one boy here just now, he's up the top playing his iPad. So you've got a set of bunks and this is our duvelets. We store our duvelets there just at the end of the, the beds. Bottom bunk, perfectly suitable for an adult. The top bunk though, there's a wee warning here. So 11 stone is the maximum, really, and you know, kids under six, probably not on the top bunk, it depends. But you know, that's certainly the safety warning. You know, you need supervision. Our boys, aren't, our boys are over six. Just that 11 stone watch if you're putting an adult up there. Um, I'm certainly a little over 11 stone, uh, I wouldn't be sleeping up there. And on the other side, at the moment we're, um, we haven't got their awning on, we've got a little caravan store, Fiamma caravan store awning on, so we've decided to bring our dog in, T-Dog. So T-Dog is now on the other side, he's in this bed that we got for him, so he sleeps in there. And usually in the middle here, there's a table. So you can sit down. Um, if I get a chance to take a wee photograph, I will, and I'll, I'll put it into this video. You can also have a little seating area at the back here, or play area, games area, ideal for the kids. But the way we're traveling just now, is it's set up for the dog, and we've also got like a little kitchen cupboard there that we've just thought, you know, we'll stick it there and see if it works. It's all about trial and error. You know, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you know, just change it. Think of something else. A um, wee bit of storage there. There's that oil heater that we uh, mentioned. We also got a wee cupboard here, and I'm pretty sure at the, at the back there, 
there is a plug and we put a little extension in there and we can use some little night lights for the boys and we can charge all our electronic equipment, our phones and things. Some dog food. Nice little storage areas here, big cupboards here. This is, keep some of my clothes in here. Um, big storage cupboard and another two big ones here. We fill this with towels and things and just keep that full permanently. This little cubby hole at the back, remember the first aid kit I mentioned? This is another first aid kit that we keep and the, the special flush cassette toilet toilet roll in there just sits nice. Now, so this makes up a single bed along here. You've got another single bed there and I don't know if you can see just at the back there's some brackets and a bracket at that side that is the bracket that lifts the other bed up that's just at the back behind this television here there that can lift up and again um, a child can sleep up there so you've got four berths at the back two berths at the front but we, we've we've put it up before when we first got the caravan the boys it was a big novelty and they both wanted to sleep on a top bunk so we put it up then, but since then we've not had that up. And if my mum comes, she just sleeps on this area here, this bottom bunk. And the two boys go on that side. And again, you've got all your fly screens at the back. Each of the bottom bunks has got a little window. Again, fly screen. And at night we just um, put the windows on the latch, just let some air circulate. And again, the blackout blinds as well come down. Ideal for the boys, they love all that sort of looking out and seeing what people are up to, see who's at the park for the boys. Many a time they've been out first thing in the morning, eight o'clock, and that's them playing all day. If you're thinking about caravanning, there is a caravan for everyone. There is no perfect caravan. If it's right for you, then it's right for you. But that's the Sterling Europa 565 2011, six berth. We absolutely love it. Oh, I forgot to mention yet, yeah, just as I'm going out, oh yeah, carbon monoxide, fire alarm, fire blanket. You also get a, a fire extinguisher down the bottom there. And this is your CPU control panel unit. Um, you can see that our water pump is on and we're connected to the electric hookup. We had a problem with that last night, but thank you, Van McVanface on Twitter. Gosh, thank you so much. You saved us. We couldn't get electric hookup um, and we were on leisure battery only. I'll maybe do another video about that because when you go caravanning, things do go wrong we have never done a trip in the caravan where everything is going perfectly each time so there you go that's our caravan if you ever get the chance to go caravanning go for it absolutely fantastic great freedom great adventure kids absolutely love it absolutely love it and it's a great way to grow up Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.